Hi, I'm Rahul and in this tutorial we will learn about how to plot or how to create line plots using uh, ggplot2 uh, package. Earlier in our my video uh, I have shown you how to uh, create the bar plots. Now in this video we will learn how to create the line plots. So to uh, start with ggplot2 you have to first import the library using its library function and inside the parenthesis give ggplot2 and press control enter so it will load the library in this tutorial i'm using that uh, inbuilt bod data set so to import that data in our environment use the data function and inside that type the capital bod and press control enter it will take the uh, bod data in our environment and you can use that data to see that data you type bod and press control enter you can see here is the time and it's a demand there are two columns and to see the structure of the BOD uh, data set use the str function and inside the parenthesis give BOD and press control enter you can see both are numerical or you, you can say both are continuous variable so first let's create one line plot using x or here we are using x as time x is a continuous variable so to plot that uh, graph or line graph use the ggplot function and inside the parenthesis first give the data here you can give data equal to bod and with comma then give mapping equal to aesthetic or aes and inside that x equal to time in x axis time and y axis demand y equal to demand with plus sign then next line give geom underscore line for plotting a line or geometric object as a line so geom underscore line and this is the closed parenthesis and press uh, and press control enter it will plot the data you can see in x axis time and y axis demand and it is now it's continuous so two three four five like that it is continuous if you want to plot uh, the x axis not as a continuous but as a discrete or categorical one then you have to convert the x axis such a variable to a factor or a categorical variable here uh, the syntax is given same as earlier only we have converted the x equal to time as a factor so factor inside the parenthesis give the time in aesthetic and when we convert the x variable as a factor we also have to use the inside the aesthetic the group equal to one to deliver the information to ggplot2 that all the points belongs to one group and it should be connected with a line and if you press control enter then you can see it is now factor and it is it's showing one two three four five seven six is not available in data so it skipped the six and it just plot the seven so it is now as a act as a discrete variable so sometime we need to plot uh, the line uh, but not a single line but multiple line together when we have large number of variables so uh, to do that I, i'm using one data set which, uh, that is a speed data set to import the data i'm using the library uh, uh, function and using the read excel package to read the excel file so after importing the read excel package i am uh, reading the data using read underscore excel function and inside the parenthesis with a quotation i have given the uh, uh, drive address drive address that is um, uh, you can say wa my working directory address where the file exists and after that close the parenthesis and i am saving that file in data set 1 so if I press control enter it will save my data set 1 and if you want to view then use a view function and use the data set 1 inside the parenthesis and press control enter it contains three variable one is speed another is such a vehicle type another is such a road width so uh, it, maybe you can assume uh, it is an experimental data where three types of vehicle car auto and two wheeler data where speed data were gathered and the road, road width also measured so uh, let's um, uh, let we want to plot that the speed data with respect to uh, the uh, vehicle type and its road width so we can plot the multiple type of cars such um, in a single plot with a line plot so to do that first 
uh, I'm using the uh, DPL wire library if you are not aware of that library you can go back and watch my uh, data manipulation using DPL wire package it is one of the best package for manipulating data very fast here I am saving this uh, uh, data to a test set one and first take the data set uh, data set one and with this um, chaining operator first apply the group by that what will uh, what it will do actually it group the variables such a uh, group the variables based on its features like using the group by function I am trying to group two variables one is based on vehicle underscore type and another based on road underscore width and after with chaining operator I am trying to summarize the summarize function helps in applying a particular type of function like I am trying to summarize the speed so in it will create a speed uh, column and in that column it will calculate the mean of the existing is speed column and it's a store based on each group so press control enter you can see afterward if I if you see the data set uh, test set one then um, okay now you can see the test set one here is a test set one it is a vehicle type road width and that is the mean speed based on each group like vehicle type vehicle type auto 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 and road width like 3.757 10 then car 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 3.757 10.5 meter and two healer two healer two healer that is 3.757 and 10.5 and that's the average speed for each road category of each type of vehicle so let's plot that using a line plot to do that uh, we are I'm trying to map that as a vehicle underscore type to different color of lines okay so to do that use the ggplot function and use the test set in which we have saved this data and with comma use the or you can type here data or if you don't type the data it will automatically take it as a take it as a data so data is equal to test set one comma mapping equal to aesthetic in x i am giving road width and y i am giving speed and color equal to i am giving vehicle underscore type so based on different type of vehicle it will plot different color of lines here are three types of vehicle car two wheeler and uh, one of these another is auto so it will plot three lines of three colors and after that with plus sign i'm using the geom underscore line so it will plot as a line as a geometric object so press control enter now you can see there are three lines one is auto one is car another is such two wheeler and red blue red blue and it's a green color is assigned to those uh, three lines based on three category of vehicles type so next is mapping vehicle type to line type okay let's say here the line is similar like there is continuous line if you want to plot different types of line for such a three types of vehicle then you can uh, <coughs> write the same syntax and inside the instead of color equal to vehicle underscore type here use the line type line type equal to vehicle underscore type so it will select different types of vehicle based on different line types and plot different types of line configuration of which are three vehicle types so press control enter you can see there are three types of line one is continuous another is dot and another is large space with such dots okay so if if we treat the road width as factor rather than a continuous such a variable here it is continuous if we want it as a factor because it is uh, similar if you see the data 3.77 for cars and 3.77 also for auto 3.77 also for two wheeler and similar the 7 meter and 10.5 meter with road width so it it rather than treating uh, a, it as a uh, continuous data we can treat uh, it as a uh, factor or categorical data and to do that in x equal to use the factor and inside that give the road width and why we are using the speed and it's the color i'm giving the vehicle type and after that you have to give the group equal to vehicle underscore type because when you converting it to a factor you have to tell the ggplot2 that 
I'm using a factor and you should treat each point as a group and we are connecting that as a group of data with a line so using the geo underscore line so it treat each category into a one group and plot the line otherwise it will not uh, look like this kind of configuration it will uh, plot like zigzag something so you have to when you convert the x-axis to a road underscore with to a factor or categorical then you have to plot or you have to give the group very group argument and you have to give the variable name equal to here i'm giving the vehicle type okay press control enter so you can see that now it is a factor or categorical 3.75 7 meter and 10.5 meter and here the three lines next if we have a plot in which we are using both lines and points we can also map another variable to certain properties like to shape or fill to do that first we are using the shape argument and providing the vehicle underscore type under that so to do that use the ggplot function use the test, test set one data and here you can use the data test set one and mapping inside the mapping use the aesthetic aes we are giving x is equal to road underscore width y is equal to speed and shape we are using the shape arguments here equal to vehicle underscore type and plus geom underscore line for a line plot plus geom underscore point so data points will be shows with a point geometric and the size equal to three of that as a points and that shape of that point should be decided based on the vehicle type here so if you press control enter you can see the shapes there are three types of shapes that indicates the points auto car and two wheeler and if you want to map rather than shape but rather than, uh, instead of shape if you want to use the fill then it will a fill color based on the vehicle underscore type and to do that we are using ggplot again the test set one or you can say data equal to test set one and with comma mapping is equal to aesthetic inside the aesthetic x is equal to we are giving road width y equal to speed and instead of shape we are giving the fill or color fill here equal to vehicle underscore type so based on the vehicle type it will fill plus geom underscore line it will plot the lines plus we are using the geom underscore point so it will use the points so here we are using uh, size equal to 3 and shape of the points equal to 22 so there are large number of categories of point shapes are there uh, if you search in uh, google uh, regarding the shapes in ggplot2 or in plotting mechanism you will find there are several types of shapes are there i'm using here a 22 so if i press ctrl enter it will show that shape and that is filled based on that vehicle underscore type okay so press control enter now you can see that the shape is square for 22 for each point for uh, each point and it is filled with different colors based on the vehicle type like auto red then green car and blue is two wheeler so here you can see that two points are overlapped together to remove that overlapping we can specify the position is equal to uh, using the position argument position equal to position underscore dots to do that use the ggplot function give the data equal to test set one and mapping equal to aesthetic aes and inside that give x equal to road width y is equal to speed and fill equal to vehicle underscore type plus when you use the gm underscore line inside that give the position equal to position underscore dodge dodge means it will uh, the lines will remain one after another okay and in that the dodge with give as per your requirement how much you want to dodge or how much you, uh, much you want to separate i'm giving here 0.5 and with plus sign again uh, i am giving the geom underscore point because i want not only to shift the lines from one another but i want to also shift the points from one another if you only change one like geom underscore line using the, the position underscore dodge then it will just shift the line but it doesn't shift this geom underscore point until you will also give this argument that i want to shift the geom underscore point 
okay or i want to shift the points so with plus sign i am giving the g underscore point again i am giving the position equal to position and score which dodge and inside the parenthesis give 0.5 i am using the shape 21 that is circular shape and size 4 if you press ctrl enter you can see now it is shifted and it is adjusted based on the axis okay so it is now shifted it's not overlapped anymore so thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel